What's up guys? Today I'm going to bring you a push workout that I did during the week. Some of you guys are asking for push workouts, chest workouts throughout the week on Snapchat. So I thought I'd bring you one today and I'll run you through the exercises, try and give you a few tips that I use myself, mental cues while doing exercises. And maybe you'll see exercises that you don't use yourself. So without further ado, let's get into it. Always start off your push day with some sort of compound movement. So today I chose flat barbell bench press and I think it's worth mentioning something about rep ranges. With compound movements, don't be afraid to get into the lower rep ranges because eventually what you want to do is make those, make the weights that you're using for lower rep ranges into ones that you're using for higher rep ranges. During this workout I worked up to I think a 4 rep set. That's a weight that I was doing as a 1 rep max just to uh, two months ago let's say so first things first start off with a warm-up i normally do two sets of anywhere between 12 to 15 reps of a lighter weight maybe one plate each side and then one and a half plates each side and then move into your first working set try to do four working sets at least of your compound movement so starting off with about 12 reps going down to 10 reps and then maybe down to eight reps six reps four reps kind of range so i think in this workout i did 12 10, 6, 4. Don't be afraid to give yourself longer rest periods for compound movements because you are overloading the muscle with quite a bit of weight. As I said, don't be afraid to go into those lower rep ranges on compound movements. Now, after bench press, moved on to doing some incline dumbbell flies, which are great. When you're doing this exercise, try and really stretch out your chest. Try not to have your elbows too bent because a lot of people turn a chest fly into a press of sorts because they go too heavy on the weight. So don't go too heavy on the weight. Try and get a full stretch. And one key thing that I keep in mind when I'm doing this exercise is that when you come to the top of the exercise, push the weight as though you're trying to stretch your arms out as far as you possibly can. So when you get to the top of the exercise, instead of staying like this, push your arms out as far as possible. Try and get the activation of the whole chest. So at the top, squeeze and push out. Did four sets of around 10 to 12 reps of that, which is perfect. With non-compound exercises or isolation movements, um, eight to 15 rep ranges work for a lot of people. Now, rep ranges are kind of a topic that people get a bit hung up on because different rep ranges will work for different people. When it comes to hypertrophy, a standard is anywhere between eight to 15 reps, 10 to 15 reps. You'll hear people saying eight to 12, you'll hear people saying six to 10, but essentially you're gonna grow if you're doing eight to 15 reps somewhere around there. So moved on to cable flies, another fly movement, something that I've been incorporating a lot more lately into my push days, cable fly, because it keeps constant tension on the muscle the whole way through the movement. So you can really stretch back. And again, when you get to the top of the exercise, try and push your arms as far away from your body as possible and really contract your chest. Another exercise that I do, and I do this every single time, one of my favorite exercises, I'm not sure what it's called or if it has a name at all. I think it's called a dumbbell crossover shrug. Basically, I try to film it as best I can. What you do is you hold a dumbbell in one hand. What I like to do with my other hand is put my hand on my hip and try and drag the dumbbell across your body while keeping it as close as you can to your body and aim towards getting to your left elbow or your opposite arm's elbow and shrug just a small bit. So this is really activates your whole chest all the way into your upper inner pec. So give this a go. It's not the easiest exercise in the world to actually do. Things to note are uh, keep the dumbbell as close as you can to your body and shrug just a little bit coming across and try and get the dumbbell across to your other elbow. Uh, doesn't need to get all the way across, but that's where you should be aiming. Um, don't go too heavy on this exercise. It's a very much an isolation exercise, so give it a go, let me know what you think. Definitely one of my favorite exercises for chest, I always do it. Normally on my push days, where I emphasize chest, I will throw in some lateral raises for shoulders. I won't do another pressing movement for shoulders because I've expended a lot of volume on the bench press. So I'll do some lateral raises. I might do some frontal raises with cables and I wouldn't do too much more than that for shoulders on a chest emphasized push day, so to speak. 
I didn't record it, all my exercises this day, but I thought I'd mention a little bit about rep ranges, especially since everyone was asking me and also people were asking me about chest exercises. So these are some chest, staple chest exercises that I use for all my bush workouts and a little bit about rep ranges. So hope you enjoyed. Physique update coming in the next clip. Peace out. It's a beautiful day, and I got a package. Ooh, more active meals. More active meals. Great stuff. Oh. Oh. What is this? Chocolate caramel. Nice. Can we try that? More BCAs. Apple and lime, cola, mixed berry, bottom alone. Yes, what is this? Pre workout advanced, advanced energy. Energy? Okay. Advanced energy. And complete protein yogurt, black cherry. I haven't seen that yet, that's new, so I'll be sure to show you how that turns out. That's the package. Thank you both powders, always appreciate it. Make sure to use my code MATTL15 if you want 15% off and that works on all orders from now on. So make sure you go check out some of this stuff. This is new, haven't tried it yet. And the yogurt, protein yogurt, that should be good. So make sure you use my code if you're gonna buy something. Peace. So that's gonna wrap up today's video guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you got something from the chest workout. Really appreciate all the support that I've been getting lately through Snapchat, YouTube, Instagram. Really appreciate it guys. You're all awesome and everyone sending me Snapchats of their flurries is just 
It's great, I always get a laugh. I'm trying to do some different types of videos on the channel, so this one and the last one were slightly different to my normal ones where I just do like a full day of eating and show you my workout, so this time is another bit different again. I hope you guys don't mind that I'm trying to vary the content a bit. Just trying to help you guys out best I can. Remember, if anyone ever has any questions, you can always email me at mattlucasfitness at gmail.com. I try to offer as much free information as I can. Um, I'm not qualified, I'm not a personal trainer, I'm not an online coach, but whatever I can help you with, I will try my best. That's the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.